Hi everyone, I'm Waiti Kaparihera from the SPECB. Today I'm going to discuss the two qualities of good instrument. First, the validity, and the second is the reliability. Validity refers to the extent to which the test serves its purpose or the efficiency with which it measures what it tends to measure. It is also the most important characteristics of a good test. Also, validity refers to the accuracy of the measurement. Validity shows how the specific test is suitable for a particular situation. If the results are accurate according to, to the researcher's situation, explanation, and prediction, then the research is valid. If the method of measuring is accurate, then it will produce accurate results. If a method is reliable, then it is valid. In contrast, if a method is not reliable, it's not valid. The validity of test concerns what the test measures and how well it does for. For example, in order to judge the validity of a test, it is necessary to consider what behavior the test is supposed to measure. A test may reveal consistent scores, but if it is not useful for the purpose, then it is not valid. For example, a test for grade 5 students given to grade 4 is not valid. Validity is also classified into four types. First, content validity. Second, concurrent validity. Third, predictive validity. Fourth, construct validity. The first type of validity is the content validity. It means that extent to which the content of the test is truly a representative of the content of the course, a well-constructed achievement test should cover the objectives of instructions, not just its subject matter. Three domains of behavior are included, cognitive, affective, and psychomotor. Also, content validity shows whether all the aspects of the test or measure are covered. For example, a language test is designed to measure the writing and reading skills, listening, and speaking skills. It indicates that the test has high content of validity. The second type of validity is the concurrent validity. It is the degree to which the test agrees with or correlates with a criterion which is set up an acceptable measure. The criterion is always available at the time of testing. It also establishes statistical tool to interpret and correlate test results. The third type of validity is the predictive validity. It is evaluated by relating the test to some actual achievement of the students of which the test is opposed to predict his success. The criterion measure against this type is important because the future outcome of the test is predicted. The criterion measure against which the test scores are validated and obtained are available after a long period. The last types of validity is the construct validity. Is the extent to which the test measures a theoretical trait. Test item must include factors that make up psychological construct like intelligence, critical thinking, reading comprehension, or mathematical aptitude. There are also some factors that influence validity. First, inappropriateness of test items. Items that measure knowledge cannot measure skill. Second, direction and clear direction reduce validity. Third, reading vocabulary and sentence structures. Too difficult and complicated vocabulary and sentence structure will not measure what it tends to measure. Fourth, level of difficulty of items. Too difficult or too easy test items cannot discriminate between bright and slow pupils will lower its validity. Fifth, poorly constructed test items. Test items that provide clues and items that are ambiguous, confuse the students and will not reveal a true measure. Sixth, Length of the test, a test should of sufficient length of to measure what it is supposed to measure. 7. Arrangement of items. Test items should be arranged according to difficulty, with the easiest items to di the difficult ones. Difficult items are encountered ahead may cause mental block and may also cause student to take much time in that number. 8. Patterns of answers. When students are detect, the pattern are of correct answer, they are liable to guess and this lowers validity. What is reliability? It means consistency and accuracy. It refers then to the extent to which a test is dependable, self-consistent and stable. In other words, the test agrees with itself. 
It is concerned with the consistency of responses from moment to moment. Even if the person takes the same twice, the test yields the same result. Also, reliability shows how trustworthy is the score of the test. If the collected data shows the same results after being tested using various methods and sample groups, the information is reliable. If your method has reliability, the results will be valid. For example, if you weigh yourself on a weighing scale throughout the day, you'll get the same results. This is considered as reliable results obtained through repeated measures. Second example, if a teacher conducts the same math test of students and repeat it next week with the same questions, if she gets the same score, then the reliability of the test is high. Reliability tells you how consistently a method measures something. When you apply the same method to the same sample under the same conditions, you should get the same results. If not, the method of measurement may be unreliable. Some factors that affect reliability are first, length of the test. As a general rule, the longer the test, the higher the reliability. A longer test provides a more adequate sample of the behavior being measured and is less distorted by chance fav factors like guessing. Second, difficulty of the test. When a test is too easy or too difficult, it cannot show the differences among individuals. Thus, it is unreliable. Ideally, achievement tests should be constructed such that the average score is 50% co correct and the scores range from near zero to near perfect. Third, objectivity. Objectivity eliminates the bias, opinions, and judgments of the person who checks the test. Reliability is greater when tests can be scored objectively. Fourth, heterogeneity of the student group. Reliability is higher when test scores are spread over a range of abilities. Measurement errors are smaller than that of a group that is more heterogeneous. Fifth, limited Time. A test in which speed is a factor is more reliable than a test that is conducted at a longer time. The four main types of reliability. First, test retest reliability. Second, iterator reliability. Third, parallel forms reliability. And fourth, internal consistency. The first types of reliability is the test retest reliability. It measures the consistency of results when you repeat the same test on the same sample at a different point in time. You use it when you are measuring something that you expect to stay constant in your sample. Why it is important? Many factors can influence your result at different points in time. For example, respondents might experience different moods or external conditions might affect their ability to respond accurately. Test retest reliability can be used to assess how well a method resists these factors over time. The smaller the difference between the two sets of results, the higher the test retest reliability. How to measure it? To measure test retest reliability, you conduct the same test on the same group of people at two different points in time. Then you calculate the correlation between the two sets. Of results. The second type of reliability is the interactor reliability, also called inter-observer reliability. It measures the degree of agreement between different people observing or assessing the same thing. You use it when data is collected by researchers, assigning ratings, scores, or categories to one or more variables. Why it is important? People are subjective, so different observers' perceptions of situations and phenomena natural differ. Reliable research aims to minimize subjectivity as much as possible so that a different researcher could replicate the same results. When designing the scale and criteria of, for data collection, it is important to make sure that different people will rate the same variable consistently with ma minimal bias. This is especially important when there are multiple researchers involved in data collection or analysis. How to measure it? To measure inter-rater reliability, different researchers conduct the same measurement or observation on the same sample. Then you calculate the correlation between their different sets of results. 
if all the researchers give similar ratings, the test has high iterator reliability. The third type of reliability is the parallel forms reliability. It measures the correlation between two equivalent versions of a test. You use it when you have two different assessment tools or sets of questions designed to measure the same thing. Why it is important? If you want to use multiple different versions of a test, for example, to avoid respondents repeating the same answers from memory, you first need to make sure that all the sets of questions of or measurements give reliable results. In educational assessment, it is often necessary to create different versions of tests to ensure that students don't have access to the questions in advance. Parallel forms reliability means that if the same students take two different versions of reading comparison test, they should get similar results in both, in both tests. How to measure it? The most common way to measure parallel forms reliability is to produce a large set of questions to, to evaluate the same thing. Then divide this randomly into two question sets. The same group of respondents answer both sets and you calculate the correlation between the test result. High correlation between the two indicates high parallel forms reliability. The last types of reliability is the internal consistency. It assesses the correlation between multiple items in a test that are intended to measure the same construct. You can calculate internal consistency without repeating the test or involving other researchers, so it is good way of assessing reliability when you only have one data set. Why it is important? When you devise a set of questions or ratings that will be combined into an overall score, you have to make sure that all of the items really do reflect the same thing. If responses to different items contradict one another, the test might be unreliable. How to measure it? Two common methods are used to measure internal consistency. First, average inter-item correlation. For a set of measures designed to assess the same construct, you calculate the correlation between the results of all possible pairs of items and then calculate the average. Second, split half reliability. You randomly split a set of measures into two sets. After testing the entire set of respondents, calculate the correlation between two sets of responses.